Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's 11 a.m. out here on the West Coast, Northern California. It's Minister Paul on August 28, 2012. God has woken me up today and given a prophecy that's uploading right now. You know, I have to be obedient to the calling and the office that God, you know, that I God called me on and I accept it. But, uh, you know, after being obedient, <laughs> amen, God said, now go and encourage them. And so I, I am. I'm going to tell you, look. <laughs> First of all, the devil is a liar. And, uh, he, he, you know, he doesn't have any power and authority over you. And he's a deceiver. And, um, and that we have 100% victory. We can renew our minds right now. We can stop right now. We're going to read from uh, Romans 3. This is a word God gave me. I, I, you know, I put out what God gives me. But we're going to stand on his promises. And we're going to believe that he alone is God. That we are. Uh, he, he counted us worthy. And that we through inheritance. Uh, we've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And, and Christ is going to get us where we need to be and that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper and as we go through these trials and tribulations we're going to grow stronger in the Lord by exposing the devil's lies and his tactics and by coming together in one accord in one body to unify and, and sharpen each other and encourage each other especially as we see the end approaching to come together in fellowship and 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 uh, encourage each other with the word, a word a word that 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 can touch lives and change lives, a, a word from God that can turn your whole day around. You may be watching this at eleven o'clock at night. You may be watching this, uh, you know, at at three p.m. You, you may be watching this uh, on eight twenty nine two thousand twelve on the other side of the world. It doesn't matter. The word of God. Is spoken through the annals of time throughout history and went out for, for over 2,000 years. It's alive. When you receive this word, we'll be right when, I don't know, I ain't going to put a, a date and time on when this word is for. This, uh, uh, this is a now rhema word from the Logos written word that God will get to you right when you need it. He's a big God and he's got big things planned for you. He said, Behold, I set before you an open door that no man, no YouTube channel, no ch church building, no pastor, no preacher, no demon, not Satan himself can close. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Let's pray and praise. Pray and praise. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of life. Today you have woken me up and renewed my strength as I waited upon you Lord you showed up and you renewed my strength I want to soar like the eagles Lord God I see what's coming upon this land and I want to bring the body of Christ in one accord so we can operate as a five-fold ministry Lord God reach uh, reach the people that you would have to reach those who are, are going through challenges and and temporary trials and, and, and afflictions. It's all for your glory, Lord God. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Lord God, I plead the blood of Jesus over this channel. Yes, it's a living, powerful blood. I plead it over this channel. I, I ask that you would anoint my mouth. Put, put a coal on my mouth. Father God, I present you my life a living sacrifice. Father God, Right now, in the name of Jesus, let that word that you've instilled in me, that engrafted word that I've hidden in my heart, come forth to bless your children, Lord God. I make my tongue like a pen of a ready writer to sit here and put out a word that won't return void, a raiment, now word of encouragement, according to your will for your children to bring us together in unity, because your son is coming back for us. We praise you. We honor you. We thank you. We adore you. We cry holy. Oh, Father God, I'm not ashamed of your gospel. I'm not ashamed to admit that I was once a sinner, but now I'm redeemed. I'm not ashamed to tell the whole world that I've received your spirit. 
that I was bought with your blood. I'm not ashamed to tell the whole world that I'm not who I used to be, that you've changed me. You've created me into, and I was born again. I'm not ashamed to tell the whole world I refuse to look back. I refuse to turn back. Yes, I'm not ashamed to tell the whole world there's been trials, there's been tribulations, but I'm enduring, Father God. But it's because of you, Lord God, that I live and breathe and have my being. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. <clears throat> Let me see if we can uh, get through this. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, yesterday I went through it, saints. But you know, I didn't go through it alone. I don't know what you went through yesterday. But you didn't go through it alone. Devil is a liar. He needs to get back under his feet where he belongs. We need to renew our mind in Christ Jesus and say, look, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Not the world, not man, not what that building told me, not what the devil's lies told me. I can do it through Christ. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I'm just going to be obedient as led and then we're going to put out the word God told me. Read some scriptures real quick. Scriptures of encouragement, okay? <clears throat> I'm not going to put links. I'm just going to read some scriptures. I believe that the Word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And that it changes lives. And it's a discerner of the thoughts of men. I also believe that the Word of God, you begin to quote the Word of God and just put it into the air. You change your whole environment. Every demon starts to run when you start talking about Jesus. You just start opening your mouth and confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord of all and, and that that we reign victorious and that His blood encompasses me and empowers me to, to put out God's Word. And you begin to quote the Word. Every demon in hell just starts to flee. Your whole household just starts to change your environment. See, the devil wants to get you silent. The devil wants to close your mouth. The devil wants to get you in that yoke of bondage. But you've been set free. You've been set free not to look back. Look forward. Through mercy and grace. You know you didn't deserve it. You know you, you know you know you know you were once tore up. You know you didn't change yourself. You know when you when suddenly were able to not drink anymore. You know you couldn't have did that on your own. You know, when you was on those drugs, you know that somehow miraculously, whether they were prescription volumes or Xanaxes, and all of a sudden you found peace from the Prince of Peace. You know that was a supernatural act. You know you weren't always perfect. And those coming to this channel, look, we, we invite the unperfect ones. We invite the sick ones. Hallelujah. I feel a move of God today, saints. We, we invite, we invite the, the imperfect ones that have been, that have been uh, mistaught and mistreated and, and abused. We invite the prostitutes. We invite the homeless. Lord God, let, let, let somebody, let, <coughs> right now in the name of Jesus, let a homeless man uh, find compassion at some Starbucks or McDonald's or something and sit next to somebody that has Wi-Fi. I don't care if it's a phone or a laptop or a MacBook. Let that homeless man or woman or child sit next to you and see this message because it's for them too. Lord, you said to go out into the highways and the byways. How do I get there if they don't have no internet? Well, I get there through you guys, the body of Christ. Share this word. Hallelujah. We're going to take this message around the world and then Jesus Christ is coming back for us because he prepared a mansion for us that we're about to inherit, saints. Hallelujah. Let me read these scriptures. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Repeat it. Matter of fact, if you're in a position right now where you can repeat these scriptures, repeat it. If you're not in a position now, make sure within, within the next 12 hours that you can get somewhere where you can repeat them. Because the devil don't want you quoting the word. I can tell you, I know the enemy and I know he's up to no good. And I know his tricks and tactics is to isolate you and put that yoke back around you and tell, tell you all these lies, to have you stop praying, to tell you that you're lost. No, you were bought with the blood of Jesus. Your name is written in the book of life. You're going to walk by faith and not by sight. You're going to quote this word <coughs> and it's going to come to pass. Deuteronomy 31.6, be strong and courageous. Do not fear. Underline that. Do not fear. If you're in fear right now, God didn't give that to you. 
or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. That, that's confirmation right there. I'm, I'm uploading a video right now. I honestly am. I'll, I'll show you. Let me see. Hey, man. Lord Jesus. I'm uploading a video right now. It's called The Beginning of Sorrows, uh, The Fourth Seal. And, and in that video, I just said that scripture. That's how powerful. That's the, how big our God is. God, look at this. In the name of Jesus. God told me to tell you this today. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for bread. That means, look, if you are in right standing with God and you know where you're getting your righteousness from him, according to Isaiah 54, 17, then that means you ain't begging. And that means if you've renounced and broken every curse off of your life and the Holy Spirit dwells within you and you recognize who you are in Christ Jesus and you're a, a demon casting out a Holy Ghost filled uh a follower of Jesus Christ bought with his blood rebuking demons that then that means that is broken off the your son and daughter's life too the generate it stopped with you in other words it didn't go to the next generation so God told me to give you a word of encouragement today he said I've never seen the righteous forsaken he will not leave you or forsake you or your children or your grandchildren or your seed they ain't gonna beg for bread. No matter what comes upon this world, he's he he's either gonna he's either our provider or either look that part is true or none of it's true. I choose to believe all of it's true. That he is El Shaddai. He he is the God that is more than enough. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask, think, or imagine. According to his power and his riches and his glory. And we just gonna walk it out by faith and not by sight. And we're gonna just claim that none of our children are lost to the enemy. And they ain't begging for bread either. Because when it was broke off our life, it was broke off their life too in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 41.10. Fear not. There it is again. Uh, this is how God works. Right, amen. Don't be in fear. There's nothing to fear. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. Remember, these just confess this into the to the whole entire spiritual realm that's how I'm going to do this I will strengthen you I will help you I will uphold you with my right righteous hand you know God's upholding me right now enough because you know why he's upholding me because he cares about you and he wants you to get this word so his literally the hand that created everything is upholding me right now and strengthening me as I waited upon him. He showed up. Hallelujah. He showed up. And you know what he said? Tell my children I will never leave them or forsake them. Tell my children to not live in fear. Tell my children to get their eyes back on me. <coughs> Zephaniah 3.17 The Lord your God is in your midst. A mighty one who will save. He, he's mighty to save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt you over you with loud singing. Amen. That's for somebody. I'm going to read all of them. I think there's 20. 1 Corinthians 10.13 and, 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 and amen. Look, you've been tempted yesterday. You've been tempted today. Well, let me read you to Minister Paul was too. Let me read this. No temptation has ever overtaken you that is not common to man. Don't let the devil think you that you're all of a sudden not a Christian anymore, or saved anymore, or backslidden anymore. Because it says no temptation has ever overtaken you that is not common to man. But God is faithful. And he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. And with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Everybody say endure. Second Corinthians four, sixteen through eighteen. So we do not lose heart, though the outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Amen. Though did you catch that? Though the outer self, this flesh, is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. I love that. I don't even that's the Holy Spirit that gave me this. The flesh may be dying, 
but the, the spirit inside me is being renewed and refreshed through the power of God and the blood of Jesus. For this light momentary affliction, man, I feel the Holy Ghost in here, uh, is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. I, I, I'm, I don't know what, what the Holy Spirit is up to, but it's all good. I'm not even going to read this. Uh, I'm gonna just going to put a link to Romans 3. See, look. Here's the thing. Where, where's my camera? There's so much stuff happening on YouTube. Look, it was 11-11. There's so much stuff. You see, it's, it's, I've been under distractions and everything you can believe of. I'm just focusing on Jesus. We're going to just speak right over this in the name of Jesus. Um, that call shouldn't even be happening. And I can already tell you that. Praise God. See, look, Minister Paul goes through it too. The devil tries to come in, but I just rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Not because it was just somebody happened to call. That could have happened. It's because the person who called knows I'm making a video. That's what I'm talking about. The kind of stuff shouldn't be happening. Let's just get right back into the Word of God and keep on uh, quoting. Deuteronomy, because I was going to read Romans 3. Let's th thank you, Holy Spirit. See, he just comes right in, and he begins to speak, and I hear. Look, you don't need me to explain the Word of God to you. You don't need a man or a woman on here to explain to you what's happening in the world. You were called to be ministers. God, God, God called everybody into the same body. Do you understand that? Jesus Christ died for everybody. He, he will gift you to hear the word just like I'm here. Matter of fact, it's breaking out all over the place. Look, you know, you know, like a lexicon, man. He, 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 he took the vision. He wrote it down and he ran with it. And he's out with it to five people. Uh, there's so many people on here that they've never made a video before. All of a sudden they're making videos. Look, that's what, that's just your reasonable service. We're down here to serve God. We're servants. Am I any better than you? No. But you know what I've done? I, I go through it, but I just refocus on Jesus. I believe his word to be true, and I put it out. And, and you can do that too. I believe someone on here that's watching this video, because I'm not going to read Romans 3. You know who's going to do the video on Romans 3? You are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Romans 3 is going to be revealed to you through revelation knowledge. You've been called. You've been chosen. You've been equipped. And now you've been encouraged to get in right standing with God, to open up His Holy Word to Romans 3, and you explain it to the people you can reach. So you can reach people I can't reach. You explain to them what Romans 3 means. I heard it, but God has told me to encourage you today. I don't, I'm not going to spend an hour explaining to you what Romans 3 is. The Holy Spirit can explain it to you in one minute. But what are you going to do with it when it comes into you? Are you going to hold it? Or are you going to put it out to all the world? You're commanded to do so. It's called the Great Commission. <coughs> See, look, I'm here to confirm to some people you've been called. You've been lied to your whole life. <coughs> look at the devil trying to attack me. Even... Uh, even the church has told you you ain't called. You can't do that. You ain't been a Christian long enough. Look, the world's coming to an end. Jesus Christ is coming back. The fourth seal is about ready to be opened. A quarter of the world will die. <coughs> Pray for me too, saints. I'm not trying to be on here to be some big bad person. I humble myself on here. I've been sick um, almost a... Um, I've been sick... Three weeks. I'm tired of it, to be honest with you. In two days, I got to leave for a four-day conference. And, and you know what I'm believing? Day one of that conference, when I walk into 10,000 people, and they begin to speak a healing word, I believe I'm going to, when I come back, when I make videos from up there in my room, 
I'm going to be healed. I'm going to be delivered. I'm going to be set free. You know why? Because this is a temporary light affliction. So now I want, I've been trying to impart to you, look, encouragement that you can be bold and strong in his power. I didn't call you. Minister Paul didn't call you. These people on YouTube that aren't rightly dividing the word, uh, that just want your money, they didn't call you. God spoke down from the heavens into the earth, and he said, I've called you. Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. The very hairs on your head are numbered. See, now I ain't called to preach to everybody. That's obvious. But I'm called to reach somebody. Otherwise, this video wouldn't be made. I wouldn't have heard Romans 3 both when I woke up and again this morning as I prayed. Who was I praying for? Y'all. And, and, and who was I praying to? God. Same God you serve. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, just, just, just let them know that they are loved. Let them encourage them. Let's go back to the word. In the name of Jesus, you know who you are. Holy Spirit, send angels. Send messenger angels, ministering angels, warring angels to encamp about this house, to encamp about their house. Whoever is within the sound of my voice, Holy Spirit, bring a conviction upon them of repentance to dead works. And let them learn to walk by faith and not by sight and realize that faith without works is dead. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. And you're supposed to diligently seek Him, saith the Lord. Diligently. Why won't my children diligently seek me, says the Lord? What more do I have to do or say? As the fourth seal is about ready to be unleashed, and a quarter of all mankind is about ready to perish, what more must I do? I have spoken it. It was written down. Shall I not perform my own word, says the Spirit of the Lord? Shall I not? <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> oh, Jesus. get to this Lord let's press on saints Deuteronomy 31 8 it is the Lord who goes before you he will be with you he will not leave you or forsake you do not fear or do not be dismayed now, I just feel the Lord compelling me to say this look we don't walk by emotions we don't walk by how we feel we don't walk by what lie the devil tells us or what our flesh says we are. We walk by faith. We walk by what we believe. I, I, I don't have to get on here and shout. I could whisper. What's important is who am I praying to? Who am I talking about? What do I believe? What promise am I standing on? Okay, I'm going to stand on this today. I'm going to stand on... I'm going to stand on the promises of God as everything comes to an end all around me. I believe he's going to protect me. Uh, here I am, 48 years old, faced death several times. He's protected me every single time. So I'm going to stand on that promise. I'm going to stand on the promise that he will protect me. I'm going to stand on the promise that fear can't enter me. I'm going to stand on my promise that when I open up my mouth prophetically, because he gave me the gift of prophecy, then, then it will go out. And, and God will speak it into your life. And, and then he will perform it. I'm going to stand on the promise that Jesus Christ built a mansion for me. And he's going to equip me to get not only myself get there, but my whole family and everybody that, uh, that he sends me to. We're going to break curses over your life in the name of Jesus. There's a revival coming across the land. right? The, the, it, there's a revival being set in motion right now from the East Coast to the West Coast. From California all the way to Australia. There's a revival coming upon the land. As God pours out His Spirit upon all flesh and His men servants and His maid servants. We're going to begin to prophesy. We're going to speak of His goodness and His mercy and His grace and His love. And all this confusion, His fear is going to go running for the hills. Hallelujah. 
Because there's more for us than there is against us. Lord God, let them look a little higher. Let them look a little higher and see, Lord God, that there's more for them that is against them. Hallelujah. There's more for you than there is against you, saints. There is more for you than there is against you. There is no weapon formed against you that shall ever be able to prosper in the name of Jesus. Psalms 9 9. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O oh Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Well, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we're seeking you today. On 8 28 2012, we're doing some seeking. We're seeking first the kingdom of God and your righteousness. Because your word says all these things will be added unto us. If we would just put you first. If we would just open up our mouth and confess that yes, we believe this. And stand on this promise. And endure through faith. And go out and perform what you want us to do. That you will protect us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the loving God. Psalms 23, 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Jesus. Speak to us today, Lord. Psalms 55, 22. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Why well, I ain't moving? Because I didn't, I didn't create my righteous. I didn't buy my righteous. I didn't drink my righteous. It's the living word of God. There is a river. Man, I'm telling you, out of Jesus Christ said, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. He said to the woman at the well, he said, woman, if you knew the water that I had, you, it would never thirst again. You wouldn't say unto me, sir, uh, let me have some water. It, Jesus Christ has water, living water, and it's going to begin to flow. It's a spiritual... <laughs> Oh, Jesus, this is beginning to flow. It's flowing in me. It's flowing in this house. I'm going to seek God first, and then I'll handle all this stuff later. But right now, I'm seeking God. Psalms 55, 22. I, I read that. I'm going to read it again. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you, and he will never permit the righteous to be moved. Matthew 11, 28 and 29. Come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now I know this is Rhema. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Not rest for your flesh, rest for your souls. We go, Remember when I said, look, those yokes are being dissolved? I meant that. Why? Because I, I know God. I know he's going to perform his word. He just confirmed his word, a matter of fact. John 14, 27. Lord, Lord God, let, let peace that surpasses all understanding fall upon your children right now in the name of Jesus. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives. Not like Vicodin. Not like a Bud Light. Not like a hit off a joint. Not like yoga, transcendental meditation. Not like praying to a Buddha rock. No, I got a peace that the world can't understand for, cause I, from the pit, prince of peace is what he's saying. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Stand on that today and just publicly confess. I'm not going to be troubled today and I'm not going to be afraid because that would mean that Christ died in vain. I'm going to walk in victory today. John 16:33. I have said these things to you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So you may be going through some tribulation in the world, but Jesus Christ has already defeated everything in this world. Amen. On the cross. Romans 8, 6. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. In other words, to be carnally minded is death. Romans 8, 6. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. We're not, we not in the flesh today. We're in the spirit. Can't you feel it? devil is a liar. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Don't be anxious about anything. That's what Jesus said too. Why are you worried about tomorrow? Today is sufficient of its own. 
He's feeding the ravens. But in everything. How? Here's the prophetic key right here. If, if all you hear is this part. This is what we should be doing today. But by everything. But in everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Thank you Father. Uh, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God. Which surpasses all understanding. Will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Have you made any requests today to God? Did you do it through prayer and supplication? With a contrite heart? Did you do it with faith? Were you thankful for it? Colossians 3.15 And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Christ just take over our lives. Take over our hearts. Take over our minds. Just show us where to go and we'll go. We're going to keep following you. But we need your peace. To which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. John 6.47 says, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. Deuteronomy 7.9 says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenants. Amen. And steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Psalms 32 8 I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go I will counsel you with my eye upon you now now was that just for uh, was that just for minister Paul no that was for anybody willing to believe I'm gonna tell you uh, that God heard your prayers if you're praying today I'm gonna confirm that God heard him with his word watch 1 John 5 14 and this is the confidence that we have toward him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and it is the word of God good enough to stand on as a promise let me tell you 2 Timothy 3 16 through 17 all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching for reproof for correction or for training in righteousness that the man or woman of God I added woman uh, may did I add to the word no I'm just saying I'm including woman on my channel so so just don't be judgmental or condescending or that there's too much of that I'll read it again that the man of God or woman of God there are women of God may be competent and equipped for every good work. So that's why you can stand on the promises. That's why you can know your prayers are answered. I'm going to put a link to Romans 3. It's like the brother Lexicon. Iraq war vet pouring out his heart. The sister in Australia. Who's willing. Uh, I, I, I beseech you and I challenge you today. To take Romans 3. And to put it out to the whole world. And say devil you are a liar. I got a God to serve. And my God says to be ye holy like I'm holy. And pray for divine. It says by to be thankful first. Thank you Lord God that you're about ready. And just expect it. You're about ready to pour into me revelation knowledge of your word. And take Romans 3. And then meditate on it. And pray on it. It, it may take a week. Just pray the Holy Spirit give you divine revelation because once you do this, it's going to open up a door into a ministry. Oh my goodness. You take this and you believe and receive that I have heard from God and that I, I, I that it wasn't for me to read Romans 3. It was for me to encourage and equip and edify you that you can hear directly from the throne through the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the teacher, the help. The guides us into all truth. He will speak Roman 3 right into you. And then you'll put out a video. And it'll be anointed. In the name of Jesus. God bless y'all. You have a great day. And remember. Whatever you're going through. It's nothing that Jesus didn't go through. And, and he already knows you're going through it. As a matter of fact. He's already sending the solution. For you to make it through it. Hallelujah. You have a great day. Today's Tuesday. I leave Thursday. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to have Wi-Fi and a room up there. I'm gonna everything that's imparted to me up in there. I'm just gonna pour out and share as led by the Lord. I'm not gonna make up or plan any word. Whatever I receive from the Holy Spirit, I'm gonna put out from up there. If there's Wi-Fi, Amen. Love y'all. Have a great day.